After arriving at the hidden Hokage Mansion, Rekka learned that 400 years ago, his mother Kagero used a special space-time drift spell to send him into the future, thus saving him from a certain death. However, the space-time drift was a forbidden technique because of the bitter consequences it brought to its user. Now, Kagero, cursed with eternal life, must wander through time forever. And sadly, after finally meeting each other again after centuries apart, mother and son were unable to touch. Rekka also learned that his older, fire-wielding half-brother Kure followed him through time to bear his fangs of hatred and get his revenge. Ready to fight! Rekka's Challenge! What? Where'd you get such a stupid idea, Rekka? Don't even try to deny it! I know you've been lying to me about it for years! Why, you ungrateful brat! Don't think I won't teach you a lesson because we're at the table! <coughs> or how about we start over again? <gasps> well, fine then. Hmm. <sighs> so when did you start lying through your teeth? Who you calling a liar? <coughs> You better watch what you say, sonny boy. You're not too big for a good old spanking. All this time you were only pretending to be my father. I should have known you're nothing more than a con man. Well, they sure look like father and son, don't they? No kidding. Hey, Pop? Listen, I'm not really mad at you, okay? In fact, I really can't tell you how grateful I am. Hmm? You've done so much for me. I mean, you've always raised me like I was your own flesh and blood. You've given me so much to be thankful for. Uh, Rekka, you know... But please, just tell me the truth. I need to know exactly where I came from. Actually, I'd also like to know that. Uh... I know I have no right to call myself Rekka's mother. I was never there for him like I should have been. But, uh, at long last, I was able to find him. And to me, he will always be my son. Stop! Huh? Come on, please don't cry. One thing I can't stand is the sound of a woman crying. <clears throat> okay, fine then. I'll tell you all how it happened. <sighs> Come on, spill it! Okay, here we go. Fifteen years ago. It was on a rainy night. I was on my way home when... Huh? Huh? Ah! What the? Well, look at you. Where'd you come from? You just fell into my arms wearing a kimono with the name Rekka embroidered on it. I looked everywhere, but couldn't find any of your family. So I raised you as my own son. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was like a huge hurricane swept through my single life. What do you mean, single? I thought you were married. Yeah, me too. Who's the woman in that photo? You know, the one you always told me was my dead mother. <laughs> oh, you mean her. She's some movie star I used to be crazy about. <laughs> It's lucky for me that Rekka's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> totally clueless. Didn't suspect a thing. Is that right, stupid? <sighs> hey, Mom, so are you getting a better idea why I'm like this? Yes, but I'm relieved that you were raised by such a fine man. <laughs> a beautiful woman knows a good man when she sees one. Oh, behave yourself, you beast. <laughs> Don't feel too bad about it, Rekka. Look on the bright side. They at least seem to have a lot in common. They're nuts. <sighs> Listen up, everyone. I asked you all to come here tonight because I want to make an announcement. I'm going away for a little while so I can do some training in the mountains over the summer break. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> what are you training for? I gotta get ready before I have to take on Kure again. No, don't do it! Because you'll be killed for sure! <sighs> You see, I can try to avoid him, but Kure will always come after me no matter where I am. And besides, he's been collecting the Madogu and secret scrolls that my Hokage ancestors died trying to protect. Mm -hmm. I won't stop until I get them back from that snake. And in the process, I might even be able to find a way to undo the spell that Mom is under. You go get him, Rekka.
And make sure you always follow through. Thanks for that, Pop. And don't you worry one bit about Kagero here. She's welcome to stay as long as she wants. So, <gasps> what do you like to do for fun? Uh, archery and tea ceremonies. Hey! Get your paws off my mom! <laughs> <clears throat> well, gotta go. See ya. Hey, wait! Ugh, oh, that damn kid! Be careful, Rekka. <sighs> yes, I made it. Huh? Princess! Rekka? You weren't gonna leave without saying anything to me, were you? Yeah, I was. But why? I'm sorry, Princess. Rekka Hanabishi! As your princess! Huh? I order you no matter how dangerous, no matter what happens, to never hide anything from me again! Do you understand me? But, Princess... I'm not nearly as weak as you think I am. I can help you out when you're in a bind. You do know that, don't you, Rekka? What? How on earth can you help me? You'll have a hard time cooking for yourself, right? So let's go. You're coming with me? Of course. <laughs> You're the best, you know that? Hey, Domon, how about you get your lazy butt down here and give me some help in the shop? Forget it. I'm just not cut out for selling flowers, okay? Now leave me alone. I'm busy up here. Oh, yeah? Well, you can kiss your allowance goodbye. That damn kid. Hi there. Oh, hi. He's upstairs. Give him a good smack in the head for me, will ya? Ah, oh, forget about her. Oh. Who am I kidding, anyway? I'm gonna miss her a lot, no matter what I tell myself. But I can't let Rekka have the spotlight all for himself. What are you doing there? Huh? Oh, nothing? <laughs> what are you two doing here? <clears throat> oh, hey, what are you hitting me for, Gonko? Cause Auntie told me to do it. Oh. So, what kind of training are you planning to do? Huh? Hmm. Gee, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me, Domon. Here. Hmm? Hey, is that a present for me? Oh! You wish. Oh, wow. It's the Kuchibashio and the Demon Claw. The Kuchibashio, a sickle and chain type Madogu. When the wielder masters it, the weapon acknowledges his skill and moves on its own. And the Demon Claw, a Madogu with five claw-like blades. Once mastered, its deadliness rivals the Kogononki. I checked them against Mr. Tatesako's scroll. They're the real thing, genuine Hokage Madogus. But Fuko, you're not seriously planning on training with these weapons, are you? Oh yeah, you bet I am. Hmm. Listen, Domon. We were the toughest street fighters in this neighborhood, without rival. And yet, when we fought Kurei, we were like babies. Well, I can't stand that. Domon, we're just as good as Rekka. If we can master these weapons, I swear we can become as strong as he is. I don't know exactly what kind of training you were planning, but I think we should go into the mountains and really spar with each other, don't you? All alone in the mountains? <gasps> oh, get your mind out of the gutter! Okay, I'm in. I can't stand by and let Rekka take all the glory. My reputation as the toughest guy in the high school's history is at stake here. <laughs> Look here! You better be serious about training! Of course I am! I, Domo Nishijima, will defeat Kure! And then you'll fall in love with me! Yeah, right. <sighs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. So, all the biochemical units have been transferred here. Yes, our experiments are now in the final stages. Apparently, there are some ethical issues that have caused some concern. And I'm not too impressed with my father's overly cautious approach. He runs this place like it's a military installation.
This is the cryogenetics unit. The place where it all began. The cost of this facility alone equaled last year's national budget. We've conducted countless experiments. And these are the fruits of our labor. So these things are all human clones? Yes, and we're ready to begin the process with the cells you provided us. Amazing. Mr. President, if you fully understand and appreciate what I've shown you here, then I recommend we move forward with creating your clone as soon as possible. However, the cost will be quite considerable. Yes, yes, of course. Of course it will. But if this will give me eternal life, then it will be worth every last dollar I have. I understand, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Please, follow me, sir. Yes. He is the president of one of the world's most powerful nations, and yet he is a total fool. He has no idea. It may be his physical clone, but it will have a totally different will. My puppet, who will look exactly like him. Master Mori, your son is here to see you now. Hooray? What's going on, anyway? You allowed people to infiltrate my facility, take the girl, and burn down my mansion! And you could have killed them all! You wouldn't betray the one who raised you and gave you a home, would you? Rest assured, Father, everything is going according to plan. Do you have a plan to get that girl back? I think so. But first, take a look at this. It's another secret scroll from the Hokage Ninja Clan. And it's doing something very unusual. What's all of this? What has happened to it? Hmm, why is the scroll singed? To my surprise, I was attacked by another fire wielder, Rekka Hanabishi, and he can conjure the eight fire dragons. Several days after our confrontation, the scroll began to burn in a few places. The flames went out immediately, but in the blank spaces, new writings appeared. That is, it rewrote itself. Hmm. It says, when the true fire wielder is decided, all the secrets of the Hokage clan shall be revealed. Now, what does this mean? It means that the scroll is waiting to tell us everything we want to know. But first, it wants a final showdown between Rekka and myself. And I want the same thing. Mm. I have to finish him off. I'll do it in a head-to-head -head battle. A duel to the death. And what exactly do you need from me? I want to lure Rekka with an underground death tournament. No way! You can't be serious! You want to bring back that bloodbath? It's too brutal! Very well. So to reveal the secrets of the Hokage clan and give me eternal life, let's resurrect the tournament. Promise you won't let me down? Hmm. Don't worry, I won't fail this time. Princess! Listen, don't move from there, okay? Okay, but why? You'll see in a minute. Huh? You're not planning to take that gauntlet off just to train, are you? I sure am! But Rekka, if you take that gauntlet off, those horrible dragons will appear again! Last time they forgave you, but this time there's no guarantee! You could be burned to death! Oh, I'm ready for that. When I was at Mom's mansion, I got a good look at one of the eight dragons. A different flame appeared from my hand. It was awesome! But I've got to get a hell of a lot stronger if I'm ever going to beat Kure. And in order to do that, I have to face those eight dragons again. But Rekka... Come on, princess. You promise not to interfere with my training. Just sit back and watch. And besides, you get a front row seat to watch me tame these beasts. All right! Come on out, you guys. It's time to play. I didn't notice it last time, but those dragons look like they're ready to kill him. This is too dangerous. He won't make it. Not this kid again. I can't believe he'd be foolish enough to summon us a second time. You must have some kind of death wish. Shut up. You don't scare me. 
Hey, I remember you from the last time I took my gauntlet off. Those were some pretty mean fireballs. You see, Nadare, you only made this impetuous youth cockier and more arrogant. Forgive me, Reshin. I got carried away in all the fun. Yeah, well, the fun is all over now. And I need your power, so give them up to me before I take them from ya. Don't be so sure of yourself, kid! It's okay, Princess, I'm alright. You are weak, huh? indeed. You may want our power, but we won't just give in to your demands. We're not your slaves. Eight dragons in one body, each of which has its own unique type of fire. If you want our powers, you'll have to take them from us. Fine! Then I'll just have to beat all of you to make you serve me. Get him! Now he's dead! Huh? He survived our attack! If that's all you got, then you guys are a big disappointment! The two of you can't even take out a little guy like me! You're nothing special, just a lot of hot air! <laughs> what an entertaining young man! He's given us quite a challenge! Well then, let's get down to business! That's what I want to hear! Let's see what you got! And you better not hold anything back! Easy, will ya? No way! That's not what we agreed to! Now show me what you got! I want to be challenged! Otherwise, we'll never measure up to Kurei or Rekka! Is that what you want? Well, is it? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll show you a thing or two. Get ready, you little tease, cause I'm planning to whoop your ass real good! Yeah, yeah, less blabbing and more stabbing! <laughs> 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 So this is where Rekka's been training. Yeah, I guess so. Rekka! <laughs> what a cute little puppy dog. Don't touch <gasps> it. That's no ordinary dog. <clears throat> hey, Toki! Have you been training out here as well? What happened? What's going on? That's a bad doggy. I have an important message for you all. That dog... Just spoke to us. That animal is simply a messenger. Someone else is manipulating him and speaking through him from a distance. You mean to say that there's someone else here right now? I have a message for you from Master Corey. <gasps> I knew it was him. I can defeat all of you anytime, but that wouldn't be any fun. So, I will invite you to the Underground Death Tournament. You will be informed of the date and time later. No, not that! The Underground Death Tournament? Yeah, I heard rumors about it. Thousands have died there. Don't accept the challenge. Please don't do it. You don't have the option of refusing. If you defy my master's orders, you will die a horrible death. Although, even if you choose to fight, you will still all face a horrible death. Sounds like fun. We'll be there. Hey guys, it's been a while. Rekka! And Yanagi too! And tell your master Kure that I'm gonna win that thing. How dare you belittle the great master Kure! Your disrespect will not go unpunished! So you're mad because I insulted that punk, huh? Well then, come on! Why don't you do something about it? Tournament? What the heck is that? I don't care if it's under or over. Just as long as I get a shot at Kure. It's the perfect time to test my progress. Bring on the arena of death. Listen, even if we run, they'll hunt us down. So let's meet them head on. Next, underground.
Underground Death Tournament. The Hokage arrives! My heart is burning with fire!